truth for um well a peaceful state so as said and i have a different viewpoint on it but it ends up the same even if the words mean something different and i thought i made that word up myself i don't seem to have done that maybe i did maybe not i did come up with a word myself i didn't know what to know it's actually maybe part of the language system so ethics of knowing work um what is work work well Mind effort to a product of a time spent on the use of thoughts to cause that idea while being. Meaning, um, in the mind of one is, ha uh, is or has to, or is in need to, or is forced to, or is made to one by, by oneself to uh, cause a product while putting effort in it. Right, so if you put effort in something, you uh, have a product that is belonging to you. So that's over time, meaning um, it's the time is experience over experience over the. I have a problem here, I think too much at the moment, and this is also having something to do with the ethics behind this work, ethics I try to present. If you think too much about something, you can't really work, but you need to be calm to work for not to think too much about what you do, and so forth. Meaning, time is experience... over what I have already explained in previous videos. I won't explain it again. So, it's the use of thoughts to cause that idea while being. Meaning, the thoughts you think, funny, um, cause this idea that is, well, the product or the result of the product or the reason why the product is caused while you are so it's basically what i try to explain with time and this is what i mean you can't think too much about something you have planned or something you do while working because in the end it is what you produce and if you try to change what you do while you disregard the plan you need to think over and might not be calm anymore meaning <coughs> it's time is the experience in this case for work like time as in work is viewed differently by your mind therefore differently perceived and for that time is the experience over the thoughts you think wow it's divided in the sense that the experience is viewed as something like imagination but not really like it's brought forth by imagination for example, you perceive, so it's experience over perception, in a sense. And I already explained that better, so if you want to know that, watch a different video on that, where I actually explained this on the other channels of this channel. Um, <coughs> Meaning, every work that is to be done in, as any case, causes thoughts to equilate. Meaning, if you do a certain work, you have to balance your thoughts and anything you regard towards it, so that the work is even done in a way that is productive, in the sense that it's funny, pun not intended, well, might be, but more importantly 
like it's productive in the sense that if you just work for a video to show people how great something is, it's really not work, it's style. So therefore, if you ever work or every work, it's in desperate need to be calm. And that's the whole idea of this ethics, of this idea for work. Um, and the cause, the constructs brought forth by the ideas of one's mind, elevate the thought process to a certain goal. Meaning, if you have an idea that your mind is producing while you experience time, over perception in a sense, then it's, it produces new ideas in your mind that you need to implement either in the work or yourself for several reasons. And that is always regarding a goal. So if you work for, I don't know, this video for example my goal is to explain what I try to present in the best way it's compre comprehensible for myself and for others even though I maybe sometimes lose my line of thought I try my best so yeah what's the ethics behind this well not yet What's ethics in general? It's defined as a structure that enables the user to comprehend a certain virtue of value of morals and serenity. Meaning, if understood, the mind can better itself to the degree that it is evolving. Following. The structure behind something that you describe as ethics, or structure that is the ethics, is for the user to comprehend the virtue, meaning the value of the value itself, in a sense, of the morals in a concept that is meta-ethics, in a sense. Like, it's behind ethics, it's serenity, it's serenity, I misspelled it, I'm sorry for that, whoever thinks that right now. Um, if it confused you, otherwise I don't really care, it's just a typo. Um, so, meaning this whole serenity thing is an ethics for itself, for conscious, and it's basically what's guiding your other ethics, at least for me. So it's my viewpoint, it's my theory, right? I explain it from my viewpoint. So if I understand that I actually want to achieve serenity in my life, even while working or while producing a good or a product, um, the mind can better itself to the degree that it is evolving. Like I can further cause serenity on myself and therefore achieve better work or better states of mind which is also a work for yourself so if the video doesn't help someone at least that it's something for myself then it's not really work that's productive but if it's productive then people will watch it so in the end it's a work for a hypothetical if you watch the video I gain something from it. If you don't, I gain something from it. But I do spend time on it, so I can't earn money otherwise. So, what is to know about the ethics of work? The results of one's work. The consequences of one's work. And the senses implemented in the knowledge. So, why these three things? The result of one's work is important for you to actually know where you're going with your ideas. Otherwise, you can't present it in such a way that anyone understands you. The consequence of one's work is already explained well enough, I guess. Uh, it's a consequence of the work I did right now. Um, because 
I well explained that myself. Yes, I know. Good. Um, the consequences of one's work is, in a sense, to know the result and to implement it and to perfect it, but also save yourself during it because you essentially don't want to waste your conscience while you work for other people. If you work for yourself, you should not want that either. Otherwise, in the end, you're, well, most likely in psychiatry. And I don't know, I don't want to speak to me my whole life in like every moment and be crazy like that. If I just one time or two times speak to myself, like in this video right now, it's all right. But in psychiatry, the people really are different. So the sense is implemented in the knowledge. Why is this important? Uh, senses can be understood in different ways here. For example, you can view the senses that come forth from the work or the senses you perfect in yourself while you do the work or even just the senses you implement and the knowledge for it to be comprehended or even the senses you use to bring forth the work which then causes the other three aspects and the other two aspects of the points bullet points points number points that I just presented using cause of knowing above is to create below well this I will explain now it's looking a little bit abstract but what I mean with this is the ethics if one is working the mind is to be focused on oneself because of mentioned reasons for serenity and for a more perfected work for that reason is that the archetype implemented is to be understood otherwise your work is useless or your consciousness is wasted or both well, most of like both and comprehended for the work to have a worth uh, because what I just explained myself it's otherwise useless if you don't understand what you work for the work will most likely be useless unless someone is really just desiring nonsense so why is this uh, concept so abstract what I presented with using well cause of knowing above is to create below what does this mean to me mm. knowing above I mean the things above but also in literal sense like in a metaphorical literal sense so in the literal sense as the metaphorical sense speaking it's to know um, what is uh, in your future brought forth by what you do, what is in your mind while you do the work, and what is in your spirit to perceive the cause of it, like hell, for example. Not saying someone sends you to hell because you work wrongly, that would be wrong. But you could create your own hell ideas or hellish ideas where you need to deal with the fact that you worked like a dumb person in my mind. Like, I think it's dumb to do just work without thinking about it. Um, doesn't mean you're dumb if you do that. I don't intend to insult anyone. It's just my viewpoint or point of view or my view. Um, my points of view, my barrel view I don't know so this is this is what I mean I made a word up that maybe doesn't make sense maybe it does a construction of words but it does make sense right barrel view to me it makes sense I know what I did I was conscious about what I did I thought about every consequence of it and what I want to present in the video, in the thoughts I speak and the words I exclaborate, 
meaning exclamate in such a way that it's to be perceived and understood. Just another word to be made up. So what is barrel view now? Barrel view is meaning that the product that comes from your view in a sense, which is now metaphorical speaking, don't take it literally, your view is not a barrel, please, whoever listens to this and follows me like this. Um, meaning your view becomes something like something you can drink off, but if you assume it's a barrel, you literally enslave yourself. That's why it's a barrel view, not a barrel view. So, yeah, I do think about everything I do very thoughtfully and in serenity and calm and calamity or in calm. And I think that's the best ethics to work, even if it's just a video on YouTube that's presenting this concept and not a lot of people will listen to it. Well, if a lot of people listen to it and I don't get the clicks, well, then I still did something for myself. So it really doesn't matter. But in a sense that I do think that that fires back. Thank you for listening.